welcome. As we come to this Monday Thursday, we are invited to the table, to the fellowship, to the friendship, to the intimate moments. We are invited to take in the last commandment that Christ has for us. Let us worship together. On this day, we are invited to join with Christ as he gathered with his followers and friends in the upper room. We come to be washed, to be fed, and to watch and pray. On this day, Christ took the towel and washed his disciples' feet. We come to be washed and receive a new command. Love one another, just as I have loved you. On this day, Christ blessed and broke the bread and shared the cup of the new covenant for the forgiveness of sins. We come to be fed and receive a new sacrament. Do this in remembrance of me. On this day, Christ prayed in the garden let this cup pass from me, yet not my will, but thine be done. We come to watch and pray and receive courage to follow the lead of love. It is for this purpose that I have come to this hour. of Scripture. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. 
By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Simon Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I am going, you cannot follow, but you will follow later. Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Then Jesus answered, Will you really lay down your life for me? Very truly, I tell you, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took the bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to them. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup saying, this is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Our third reading for this day also comes from Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, verses 39 through 46. Jesus prays on the Mount of Olives. Jesus went out, as usual, to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you do not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down, and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him, and being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? he asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me in prayer. God among us, when we cry out for justice, you hear us. When we fall to our knees, you witness us. When we lean into your comfort, you hold us. When we lose our way, you guide us. Hear our prayers. Stay with us here as we seek your way toward hope and wholeness. We name, O oh God, that at times it is hard to stay loving in the face of cruelty, neglect, and harm. Yet even when Jesus knew his friends would betray and abandon him, he showed us how to center our whole selves in your love. Instead of the hatred of the people and the injustice of systems of power, may we go and do likewise as he called us to do, so that our love for others will be a testimony to all you have done in our lives. Through the life and ministry of Jesus, you taught us how to love fiercely, how to honor one another fully, and how to serve with humility and kindness. Through grace, you join us together as one body. Be with us today and every day as we seek to pour out love as disciples of Jesus. 
Amen. Thank you.